Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are going to mess around with who is today. Now, who is is a basic program that provides us information about the domain, a website, maybe an IP address. And there's two really good ways of accessing the who is program. The first one I'm going to show you is obviously through Linux because, you know, Linux, right? Why wouldn't we do this? So I'm just going to type in who is and let's do Amazon.com. And by providing that, you can see if I scroll up all kinds of juicy information about Amazon's uh, domain, right? So all the way at the top, we can see Amazon.com. We can see the registration domain right there. We can see who the who is server is that we're utilizing, who is markmonitor.com. We can find out what was last updated on 516 of 2023 at 703 Zulu. We can also see that it was created in 1994. So this IP address or this domain has been around for quite a while. We can also see that it expires on October 31st, Halloween on 2024. So if you're watching this video the same year I made it, then it expires literally in about four months. We can see all the different information. Uh, we can see the domain status, and you can see here if we scroll down everywhere that the name server is located. For instance, we can see Amazon DNS, .net, .uk, so on and so forth. We can also see that it's unsigned and just a lot of different information associated with it. If I scroll down even more, you can start to see the different client information. We can see the associated information uh, to, the inf uh, to, the, to the actual uh, owner. For instance, we can see the registered name is Hostmaster at Amazon Legal Department. We see and see the organization is Amazon Technologies, where it's located. Interestingly enough, in Reno, Nevada, we can also see the postal code. And if we wanted to contact them, we actually have a phone number uh, as well as a fax number. So a lot of good information with who is, and it's literally just going to tell us all kinds of information associated with the actual domain. That's the first way. The second way is an actual web GUI, right? So if I go to who dot is, and I go that route, I can actually go in and type in amazon.com here. And it provides me the same information just in a web implemented format. We can see a little bit easier to read the different name servers associated with it. And there really isn't much that's changed here. It's just, it's literally the same information associated with it. Uh, we can go into DNS records and it provides those DNS records. We can see the time to live, the type, we can see the content uh, and the host name associated with it. Something that we really didn't see on the terminal perspective. And then finally, diagnostics. We can see that we have to press I'm on not a robot, uh, but it'll provide us ping and trace route, which I really don't feel like is a, a, a need that we need to do. All right, so this is who is two different ways of doing it. I hope this is helpful. Until next time, I'm Dr. K.